Hi, Tom wanted me to do a quick video this morning about a new piece of production gear that we just got in. And uh, it's a new tripod called the Cartoni Focus. But I think uh, we should kind of take it in the order of priority. So once you have a camera that you're happy with, uh, we're using the Sony Z1 HD camera. Uh, and then once you have an audio setup, and we have the Sennheiser wireless mics um, and a good lighting setup, um, I think those are your first three priorities. And then after that, probably what you want to consider is making a purchase something like this, which is uh, the Cartoni Focus. And that's C-A-R-T-O-N-I Focus Tripod. And what this really comes down to is for most of you that are shooting uh, internet videos that are just talking heads that are locked off, uh, pretty much any tripod will work for you. But once you start panning and tilting the camera or doing other kinds of videos that are showing other kinds of uh, exteriors or interiors where you're moving the camera, you're, wanting, you're going to want to consider something uh, probably a little bit nicer. And, uh, and what that really boils down to is engineering. So let me take you through the Cartoni Focus here just real quick on what makes this such a special tripod. Uh, first off, um, the tripod has a quick release head. It's got a little snap function here that allows you to pull it off and go handheld really fast. It's got a quick release balance plate on it, snap it right back, it's locked back in place. Uh, the second thing that makes it really nice, it has a floating uh, screw on head and that head allows you to balance the camera uh, and to get it leveled up. And right here you'll see there is a little um, circular um, leveler uh, that allows you to put the bubble right in the middle and relock the head. And when I was talking about engineering earlier, what I meant was that most heads on very inexpensive tripods, probably under, you know, $100, are what's called friction heads. And they just simply have a screw somewhere around uh, the head post that you tighten up, um, and uh, that's how you pan and tilt the camera. But it doesn't supply any feedback to your hand to make a nice smooth move, either when you're zooming in or panning or tilting. Um, and how Cartoni handles that and how all professional tripods handle that is with, uh, with what's called a fluid head. And a fluid head actually means just that, that the uh, head has hydraulic fluid inside of it and it provides feedback to the operator. Uh, this head has the ability to loosen and tighten the drag and right here there's a little switch where you can tighten and loosen the drag uh, to whatever your personal preference is. Um, also on the side, on the back here, they have a balance knob that you can tighten and adjust the balance that lets you um, adjust how you want the camera to sit when it comes to rest and your hands are off of it. And additionally, it has a couple of other really nice features, which is a locking mode here when you walk away from the camera and the same thing for the uh, tilt, uh, same thing for the pan. Um, but mainly, as I said, it really comes down to engineering. This tripod weighs just a couple of pounds. It's extremely light, uh, extremely portable, and as I said, uh, you know, the engineering on it is phenomenal. You'll see here just in the legs, uh, when you're packing up, simply pull up this lever. The whole tripod collapses. Really nice feature. Um, and again, this is what makes it nice. Great engineering. Um, just a great tripod. Uh, this tripod will cost you about $1,300 new. Uh, actually, we found this one on eBay. We've been uh, keeping our eye on eBay for quite a while, trying to find one to come up, and we actually got this tripod uh, for $800. Tom wanted me to show you a couple of examples of what you're up against when you're using an inexpensive tripod head. And it usually happens when you're zoomed in tight and you start to make a move you'll get a little hitch just like that. And then you can start to move it down. And then when you try to stop, you usually get a little bounce back. Um, same thing as when you're going back up, you see that little bounce there. And then when you try to stop, you get a lag and it comes back in. And that's because you don't have fluid drag, you know, helping you uh, give you feedback from the uh, camera head. Same thing when you go left to right, you get a little hop. It's hard to make, a, it's hard to start a smooth move. And uh, if you're trying to zoom out and make a move, it's, uh, you see how you get those little couple of little bounces. Same thing when you're zooming in, you get a little bounce there and a little bounce when you're trying to come over. So that's what a fluid head will do for you. It'll keep these little bounces and little bumps out of your moves. And uh, 
I think if you try the Cartoni Focus, you'll be very happy with your purchase. Now we're going to go outside and take a look at some beautiful pans and zooms, uh, some tilts, so you can see what you can actually achieve on a Cartoni Focus. Here we are outside of Tom's house shooting a few beauty shots. Here's a nice pull back, and here is a nice little uh, tilt down. You might see a little jitter here, but that's just the 24 frame artifact we're shooting in 24 frames. And here's a beautiful sweet pan to the left. Actually only have one finger on the pan handle right now, and you're seeing the fluid head from the Cartoni do all the work. Once you get a great camera, once you get great audio and a lighting setup you like, probably the next thing you want to invest in is a really nice tripod, and we recommend the Cartoni Focus.